to sit if you like to join in my name is Marcel I'm teaching here yoga every day together with Sean Sean is here for entertainment energy and motivation I'm here for the instructions the questions the support if you like to join in today come into a wonderful sit sit up on a sitting pillow sit up on some books and get along from your hips to the top of the head feel the length feel the length to the top of the head from your hips Find your sit, you know, you can sit cross-legged, you can put your knees forward, you can sit down. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? Good. And breathe in deep into your belly. You can also put your right hand onto your belly and then the left hand onto your chest. Breathing in deep in your belly and then into your chest. Feel how you expand. Your chest to the front, to the left, to the right, to the back as we're breathing in. First breathe in into your belly. Then breathe into your chest and feel how you're expanding your chest to the front, to the left, to the right, to the back. You're growing in all the different directions. Good. And then just passively breathing out. One more time, one last time, breathing in belly, your chest, welcome in everybody, good to have you today, bring your arms by your sides, lift your arms up by your sides and feel, you're breathing in deep again as you're lifting your hands up by your sides and get long from your hips to the top of the fingers, breathing out, release your arms down by your side, And pick your arms up by your sides again. Feeling the length from your hips to the top of the fingers. Breathing out, releasing. And pick your arms up again. Your time with your breath. Make your breath deep, 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 deep. As you're lifting your hands up. And breathing out, releasing your arms. Bring your hands to your thighs and start to move your hands forward and backward on your thighs. Connecting today, connecting to your thighs, to your palms as you're moving your palms forward and backward on your thighs. And really, really listening with your ties, not just with your palms, but really listening with your ties. What are they feeling? Not just listening with your palms, but also listening with your ties. Wonderful job. You're doing good. Can you do that? What comes up when you're doing this movement? What comes up? Do some emotions come up when you're doing this movement? Listening into your belly, into your chest, into your whole body, how your whole body feels today. And from there, bring your shoulders forward, then upward, then backward and down. And again, forward, upward, backward and down. Forward, upward, backward and down. How does that feel? How does that feel? Good job everybody, you're doing good. Without pushing yourself too far, you know, just listening to your body, how far your shoulders can go today and not pushing yourself any further. Good job. From there interlace your fingers. Bring your hands in front of your heart together and interlace the fingers softly. There's no need to really grab on too much and start to circle your wrist and your fingers. You know, your whole hands circling your wrist here in one direction. Make sure you remember which thumb you have in front right now. Check which thumb you have in front. And really try to circle softly. There's no need to grab on too hard. Then release, shake your wrists out, your elbows, your shoulders and bring your other thumb in front, interlace your fingers and circle into the other direction if you can. 
Good job, everybody. Jamie chumps a lot. Jamie, Jamie Sir chumps a lot. Or Lone Wolf Sir chumps a lot. And yeah, hope you guys are doing it good. If you're joining in, if you have any requests, if you have any wishes, please let me know. What kind of like, what would you like to do today? Shake your wrists out, your elbows, your shoulders, and bring your hands up. Fingers are vertical here. Push out of your shoulders and bring your thumbs up and then thumb in, thumb up and thumb in, thumb up and in. Again, this is your yoga lesson. If you like to do anything in particular, let me know. Still, today we're going towards handstands. So if you not, can't, can't cover your request today, then we will do it most likely tomorrow. So bring your thumb up and then in. Thumb up and in. Thumb up and in. How do you, does that feel as you're doing that? Also check in how your right arm feels compared to your left arm. And also check in how your right arm moves compared to your left arm. Or your left arm to your right arm. And then circle your thumb forward. Whatever forward means to you. Oh! Holy! Holy moly, welcome in everybody. Yoga with Chen, thank you so much. Circling your thumb forward, whatever forward means to you right now. Woohoo! Thank you, thank you for that wonderful raid. Yoga with Chen, how are you doing? How was your stream? Welcome in everybody. My name is Marcel, we're teaching here yoga every day. Welcome, welcome. And then circling your thumb to the other direction. The other direction. Tell me when you're here, Yoga with Chen. If you're here. How was your stream, Yoga with Chen? What were you up to? What were you up to at that time? Thank you so much for your raid. Welcome in, everybody. Then make fists with your hands and move your wrists up and down. Move your wrists up and down. How does that feel? Welcome in everybody, my name is Marcel, we're teaching yoga here every day, so good to have you. Um, I'm not alone here, but I'm joined by Sean, Sean is here for entertainment, energy and motivation, together we're teaching here every day. And uh, today is a little handstand lesson, so if you'd like to join in, this is a beginner handstand lesson, beginner yoga lesson. So, just join in and follow along if you wish to. If you have any questions, if you have any requests, let me know and we also can go there. I was just reading some short stories. It was very relaxing. Awesome. Awesome, Yoga Chan. I didn't know that you're doing that. I'm also reading out of my Bruce Lee book currently that, you know, he was a philosopher. And uh, it's fun to read out of it and to make some thoughts uh, or make your... Yeah, kind of like discuss it a little bit. Then release, shake your wrists out, shake your elbows, shake your shoulders. Awesome. Welcome in, everybody. You really appreciate that. Big, big raid. Thank you so much, Jen. Thank you so much. Did you stream for a long time? I wonder. It was a surprise stream after my community completed a uh, community challenge. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Well, we are, we are, we're not doing community challenge so far, but probably if, very, very soon. So bring your right hand to your right side and we're just leaning to your right side, keeping your left sitting bone to the, to the floor or not just to the floor. If you're sitting on some books, sit on, on the books, right? And have the left sitting bone rooted to the books. Or if you're sitting up on a sitting pillow, root down and we're leaning to the right, breathing in deep. Bring your belly a little bit in, bring your shoulder blades on the back together, tuck your chin and breathing in deep and then breathing out, changing around the other side. Now I'm feeling tired but very relaxed. What did you read? What did you read? Yoga with chin. Leaning to the other side, engaging your belly, tuck your chin in and other side. Breathing in deep. Getting your chin in, <sighs> changing around, breathing out and breathing in again, other side.
Breathing in, reaching. Feel how your sitting bone are still connected to the floor. Last time, other side. Go with your breath. There's no need to follow me directly, but we listen to your breath and move with your breath. Breathing out, coming back into the middle. Good job, everybody. Now from here, we come to our fingertips, to our beautiful fingertips. Bring your right fingertips down to the floor and get along from your left sitting bone to the top of the left hand. So reach up. Now here, we want to keep our right side long as well. So we create length from your left sitting bone to the top of the left hand, but we keep your right side long as well. Try to do this. The first few times doing this, it feel, feel like, hmm, this is strange. I don't really know what I need to do here. But really feel the length from your left sitting bone to the top of the left hand. Keeping your right side body long as well. So not leaning right now as before, but keeping both sides long. Good job. And change your arm. And other hand up. Good job, everybody. We're taking good care of ourselves today in this beginner handstand lesson. So, welcome in, everybody. I'm glad to have you, glad to serve you. Again, if you have any requests, let me know. Work with your breath here as well. Feel what your breath does for you as you're breathing in. And release. Come back into the middle. So yeah, let's stand up together. And don't worry, we don't have any kind of stress standing up right now. So take your time standing up. And really bring a lot of awareness into how, the way how you're standing up right now. So just move one leg at a time. One leg at a time. Feel how you're shifting the weight. Feel every kind of movement. If you're leaning back, feel that. If you're leaning forward and you shift the weight forward, feel that. I was reading some short stories about how animals got some of their traits. Okay, that's interesting. That was a lot of fun. Cool. Slowly come up. There's no need to hurry. Feel how it feels to stand up. Good. In your way. In your way, don't don't just look at me and uh, but try to stand up in your way and maybe discover something new of how you're standing up. From here, bring your feet below your hips and bring your hands in front of your heart together. We're doing my little favorite sequence that I like to share, especially also with you, Yoga with Chen, as you're here today and giving us so much love, rating, with, uh, rating us. Start to warm up your hands here. Start to warm up your hands. And by the way, if you, <laughs> of course, I completely forgot. Big shout out to Yoga with Chen. So let me do that quickly. Go check her out. She's a wonderful yoga teacher. And from here again, feet below your hips. Start to warm up your hands in front of your heart. Feel how your hands are getting warmer, warmer, warmer. And she's also doing short stories. How awesome is that? Didn't know that. Good. And from there, as soon as your hands are warm, close your eyes and bring your hands just slightly above your eyes. Feeling how the warmth of the hands on your palms Submitting onto your eyes, onto your face. And then slowly release your hands down onto your face. Connecting with your fingers onto your face. Onto you. Yeah. And just give your eyes a little bit of rest right now. And feel your fingertips, how they are connected, connected to your face. And imagine raindrops as these fingertips. And slowly draw these raindrops down, refreshing your face. Refreshing your whole body as you're drawing your fingertips down on your body. 
and bring your hands up by your sides. Palms are pointing forward, palms are pointing forward, palms slightly above your shoulders and from here breathe in deep, get long from your feet to the top of the head. As you're breathing in, feeling that length, breathing out, releasing that length again, breathing in, get long from the shoulders out to the fingers, long, long, long. Breathing out, releasing again. What time is it in your place, Yoga with Chen, right now? Then breathing in again, extend the fingers away from each other. And breathing out, releasing. And now we're doing all the three things together. So breathing in deep, get long from your feet to the top of the head. Get long from the shoulders out to the fingers and extend the fingers away from each other. And then breathing out, give yourself a big, big hug. Give the whole world a big, big hug. If you like to smile, smile. If not, then don't. How does that feel? Check which hand you have on top. And release your hands and give yourself another, another little hug. God, how does that feel? Good job, everybody, and release. Twenty. Ah, ten, a little bit after 10 o'clock. Ah, that's, that's good. In Mexico, that's good. Shake your legs out. Shake your arms. How did that feel? How does that feel? Cool. How did that feel? Good. Let's go. Let's go a little bit more. We, go, we want to go into handstand, right? So, and I completely forgot to tune in the... The timer again so let's just check we're going for a little bit more than like 40 minutes from now on I think just about 40 minutes let's come down to the floor right now and let's warm up our wrists so let's come into all fours all fours here good and from here Having the shoulders over the wrists, shoulders over the wrists. We bring the right hand, turn your right hand to the outside of the mat and shift yourself left and right here. And you're very welcome, Yoga with Chen, or Chen, you're very welcome. So good, thank you so much for that wonderful raid, I appreciate that. Just move left and right here, appreciate that a lot. I had to go sort out a couple of things of the streaming for a long, for so long. I feel like I missed some comments, questions. Then bring your, yeah, that's all right. Index finger pointing points to your knees. Move front and back. Yeah, I was just asking you what time is it in your place, and um, yeah, nothing much more. Front and back. We gave you a little hug, you know. We go if the whole world a hug. So that's maybe something you missed. Then index finger points to your other hand and move left and right. Good. How does that feel? Again, we're warming up the wrist right now so we can put a little bit more weight over it afterwards. Shake your wrist out, shake your elbows and change to the other hand, index finger points to the outside. By the way, Jamie, thank you for timing out uh, that person. If he was like uh, aggressive or anything, I didn't see. Move left and right. <laughs> thank you for that hug, Jim. Appreciate that. Then index finger points to your knees and move front and back. How does that feel? Index finger points to your other hand, move left and right. And 
and then turn your hand around. No, wait. No, 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 no. Let's sit back first. Let's sit back first. I was a swimmer and I, I think that sometimes why sometimes I have problem with the accumulation of tension like I was doing a lot effort and now um, times I don't swim sometimes you don't swim so maybe my body asks for it something I try to emulate the movements with the arms ah I see so you're doing some kind of like movements with the arms like that <laughs> that's good I mean that's good I understood I understood so bring your hands together here push in through the wrists uh, through the mounts of the fingers sorry connect the mounts of the fingers here together then release the fingers down and push in through the wrist again the mounts of the fingers are where the fingers are connected where the fingers are connected good push in through the wrists through the mounts of the fingers and release and again pushing in feel how the mounts of the fingers are connected and release again why are we doing this to protect the wrist to protect the wrist when we are putting pressure on there um, especially in in kind of like a handstand position and everything you try to you want to have the mounts of the fingers connected to the floor if it's possible for you of course if it's not possible for you you want to work on it and go gradually closer to that good pushing through the mounts of the fingers pushing through the wrists claw your fingers a little bit and release again two more times pushing in releasing pushing in smile don't forget to smile you're doing awesome Good. and release shake your wrists out your elbows your shoulders and that was crazy a crazy big raid thank you so much and really really appreciate that you know i have a little story to tell if you're still here uh Jen and everybody so this was like when i started streaming like the first time i really got raided um again we're coming back into all fours here make sure that at the moment you feel how the mounts of the fingers are connected to the floor and then turn your right hand around index finger points to your knees and give a little bit of weight over your wrist but not not too much you know a little bit of weight and move front and back so when i started to stream and i kind of like got raided i never really got it like i didn't know what that was exactly how it worked i thought like i was somewhat trolled or something <laughs> because there were all these kind of like funny emotes in the chat and everything and I just didn't get it and didn't say anything and then I realized in the end that I was raided you know but it was really when I started to stream so I had no idea exactly how it worked and didn't get any notification or anything so I didn't really see it it was really a little bit sad because it were 70 people that just raided me you know this kind of like was the biggest raid i ever received and <laughs> it just was fun you know it was really really in the beginning of like when i started streaming index finger points to your other hand and move left and right here how does that feel good then turn your hand around, index finger points to the outside of the mat, move left and right. Give there some weight, not all of the weight. So that was the little story about how I got raided and I thought I was trolled. <laughs> because there were kind of like strange symbols that I couldn't really see because my chat was so small. Then index finger points forward and move front and back. And yeah, that was that. If there's some weight, not all the weight, and sit back, shake your wrists out a little, and we're doing the other side right away. So yeah, I owe you. I didn't know that you were a swimmer. That's so cool. That's so interesting to know. How long did you swim for? Index finger points your knee and move front and back. You know, I love to connect with some people and really learn a little bit more about you guys. It's amazing. Move front and back, give there some weight. 
index finger points to your the outer edge of the mat, move left and right, give this some weight, sharing all the love, definitely, definitely, thank you for that, Jen. And then index finger points to your other hand, move left and right. Were you in a swimming team or what did you do exactly, IOE? Or did you just do a lot of sports, swimming sports, just for yourself? Index finger points forward, move front and back. Again, not giving all the weight of your body there, but just a little, you know, just a little. You can release, bring your hand around, feel how it feels, sit back, interlace your fingers, soft and circle, very, very soft. See how that feels today. Again, we're warming up to go to a little bit more stressful, weightful, weightful position. I don't know if that's a word I don't think. Weight carrying? No, not weight carrying. I just fi don't find the word right now, but I think you know what I mean. So a little bit more weight. We will have a little bit more weight over the wrists later. So we want to uh, warm up good, you know. I feel like it's good to start on Twitch as a viewer first to understand the place a bit first and just jumping right in as a stream and then as a viewer you have an idea what people like because you know what you like as a viewer, not just guessing at what you think people want to see. Yeah, yeah I guess you know some some balance between like viewing and, and uh, streaming I think it's good, yeah Jamie. Hey, I agree with you. Shake your wrists, shake your elbows, shake your shoulders. Then bring your hands forward, push into the mounts of the fingers, claw your fingers. And tuck your toes in and shift your hips up. We're just coming into a quick downward facing dog here. So here, what we want to do is push into the mounts of the fingers again. Pushing into the mounts of the fingers. Not just into the wrist right now. Not just into the wrist, but also in the mounts of the fingers. Again, the mounts of the fingers is where the fingers are attached. So especially you don't want to have any kind of space between the index finger mount and the mat. Good job, everybody. If you take away something from this yoga lesson and this, this is the thing, then take this. Uh, I mean, if you want to take something away from this yoga class, then take this away if you didn't know that. Bend your knees. Push your hips up, feel the length from your hips to the fingers, push into the mounts of the fingers. Good job, everybody. Breathing in deep into your belly, into your chest, push your butt up. Spreading the butt cheeks if you want, like a flower. Turning the thighs inward and back if you know that commando. If you don't, don't worry about it too much. And don't sink through your shoulders too much, but keep your chest up. Feeling the length from the hands to your hips. Look between your wrists and start to walk forward. Good. How does that feel? Bend your knees. Bring your hands to your hips. Elbows pointing upward and stand up. If a straight back. Bring your arms up. Breathing in deep. Slide back bend. Engage your belly. Uh, breathing out. Bring your hands in front of your heart together. Close your eyes for a moment. Just be. I was with you just for a short time before streaming. I jumped pretty much straight in. However, I have learned a huge amount from other streamers for sure. Always learn. Definitely. Chen, definitely. Then open your eyes again. Shake your wrists, shake your elbows, shake your shoulders. Shall we go? Shall we do it? Are you ready? Warming up a little bit more for handstand. For everything. You ready? Good. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, forgot about the camera. Let's come to the front of the mat again. Bend your knees and we're hinging forward. Now this is the first exercise that's a little bit more difficult. So make sure you're warmed up, especially your wrists. If you haven't warmed up, if you haven't joined in, um, do this on your own, a kind of like um, make sure you're warmed up. So warm up first before doing that. 
again, um, this is difficult. If you have never done this, don't get discouraged. Good. Bring your arms down, push into the mounts of the fingers. You can bend your knees a lot if you need to here. So what you want to do is shift all the way to your hands, push into the mounts of the fingers a lot. And then we're kind of like taking a little step back. So we're, we're kind of like rocking forward and we're stepping back. And you can do really little steps if you wish. Good. Pushing into the mounts of the fingers a lot. Good job. And we're doing this until we are at the back of the mat. So try this. If that doesn't work, if you can just do one, just do one. That's all right. If it's already too hard, don't worry about it. Just leave out these exercises and then join in again where you are. You're doing great. Take care of yourself. Listen to your body. Listen if something hurts. Listen if it feels good. And then we're coming again down. Bring your hands forward. Push into the mounts of the fingers. Claw your fingers. Now we have the hands further away from your feet, approximately foot distance away from your feet. We're shifting all the weight to the hands, slowly, slowly push into the mounts of the fingers and then just lift up the toes and step forward, kind of like the automatic steps forward. Bring your hands forward again, shift all the way to your hands, push into the mounts of the fingers and then lift your toes up and controlled moving your feet forward if you can good job like that we're moving forward Doop. step by step no need to hurry do it in your own time again the first times this is super super hard if you have never done that good bend your knees bring your hands to your hips elbows pointing upward stand up with a straight back bring your arms up Breathing in deep, slight back bend. Bring your hands in front of your heart together. Close your eyes for a moment. Feel how your body feels. And then shake your wrists out, shake your elbows out. You have to raid and run. <laughs> you have to run. Okay. Bye bye. See you very, very soon. Have a good one, Yuga with Chen. Have a good one. Appreciate you too. See you very soon, Chen. See you very soon. Shake your wrists out, shake your elbows. Going a little bit further. Open your eyes again if you have them still closed. How do your wrists feel? Whenever we are kind of like taking a break, whenever you, we are having downtime, you can grab on with one hand around your arm and pull down a little bit and just circle softly with your wrist. Softly, softly, good. And then also for the other side. And whenever we have downtime, you can do that. Good. Next thing we're doing, just keep on standing. Bring your hands up. Push up from your wrists. Draw the fingers down. Get long from your shoulders up to your wrists. Drawing the fingers down, feeling the length. Really drawing the fingers down to you. And pushing with your wrists up. Kind of like imagine your enhanced stand here. Imagine that your enhanced stand here already. And then release. Shake your wrists out. Shake your elbows, shake your shoulders. Good. Then bring your hands forward and again push out from your wrists. Drawing the fingers back towards you. Good. Pushing out from the shoulders, breathing in deep. Put your belly into your chest. Good job. One more time, deep breath. Good, release. Shake your wrists out. How does it feel in your hands? Really listen to your hands, how it feels. Good. By the way, did I... Did I miss a message from IOE or not? I guess I, I didn't miss mess, need. I didn't miss a message. Good. Shake your arms out, shake your legs out. Then bring your feet apart. Approximately wrist width apart. So bring your arms up by your sides. 
measure the distance with your wrists. So bring your ankles below your wrists. Good job, everybody. And from there, engage your thighs, engage your knees. Again, if you have any questions, if anything is unclear, please tell me, please tell me. Push your butt to the back. Keep your thighs and your knees engaged. And from there, slowly, slowly come down with a round back. But first feel that you're having a straight back before rounding down. You can also bring one hand to your back and listen in or feel how your back, how the vertebras on your lower back are not sticking out. You can also round your back and feel how the vertebras are sticking out. And first feel how they are not sticking out. Get long from your hips or from your butt to your head and try to push up, push out your butt more, 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 and maybe sink a little bit deeper. Good. With a straight back. And then slowly round your whole back, not just at one point, but your whole back. Bring your hands on the floor. And from here, keep your legs engaged, your knees engaged, and we're wandering over to your right toes saying hello to all the right toes how are the right toes doing today how are they feeling how is your right foot feeling and then coming back to your other side saying hello to your left toes to your left foot and if you can't go there just move in that direction how does it feel there good job Come back into the middle, slowly push into the mounts of the fingers, applying the fingers, either off or on the mat. I recommend putting the hands off the mat here. I recommend putting your hands off the mat and pushing into the mounts of the fingers, clawing the fingers. Good. From there, we shift again all the way to your hands and we're jumping in and then we're jumping out again. Try to really shift all the way to your hands when you're jumping. So it should be really, really easy. Good. We are going for a round of 10. If that's too much for you, just go three, three times. If, um, if, you're doing, if you're doing it the first time, it's especially hard. So take care. Again, shoulders over the wrists or even a little bit over the mounts of the fingers. Then jump in and out. And then jump out one time, bend your knees a little bit, bring one hand up to your thigh, the other hand, and start to step in left, right, left. Shake your wrists out, take a deep breath in. Good job, everybody. Doing good. Good. Going further. Further. Ah, before we go further, I always like to do a little bit of a relaxing uh, position between, kind of like the ones that are tough, you know. So let's do that. Bring your feet hip width apart. From here, we're we doing the wet towel exercise. I think it's a wonderful exercise, one of my favorites. What we're doing is we're engaging the knees, engaging the thighs, a lot, a lot. But from the belly button, we move left and right. Try to release your arms a lot. Left, right. Smashing the wrists into your belly or into your waist. Keep your thighs engaged. And then try to move your, for your belly button. Look to the left and to the right as we're moving here, keeping your head between your shoulders. Or you can also look straight forward if you wish. Keep your knees and your thighs engaged a lot, a lot. So we are not doing this. We are not doing this here. We're not kind of like sitting in the knees. That's the, 
that's what I don't want to see. Doing this, we're engaging the knees and the ties. We're moving the belly button left and right, smashing your wrist into your onto your waist, onto your belly. Again, the weight, the hands are completely relaxed. We're just moving with our belly button left and right. Everybody, good job. Keep it up. You're doing super amazing today. I'm proud of you. Keep it up. How does it feel? This is an amazing exercise for your shoulders, for your whole spine. Again, move out of your belly. Move out of your belly button. Your wrists. Slowly release. Stopping, releasing. You can feel how maybe some impulses are still going left and right. Knowing that if you can feel these impulses, that's, the, that's where the center of the body lies. That's where the center of your body is. Release Open your eyes if you have to close. Coming back into downward facing dog right now. So bend your knees bend forward slowly. Slowly bring your hands onto the floor. Push into the mounts of the fingers. Claw the fingers. Either step or jump back. And then we want to get long, long, long. From your, from your hands to the hips, get long, long, long. Push into the mounts of the fingers, bend your knees a little. So everybody, even if you're advanced, bend your knees. The mix sounds a little bit strong, I guess, with the movements, or is it just me? I guess. <laughs> I guess I have always make problems here, are you? I'm sorry. Just try to try to uh, lower the volume a little bit on your side. Now it's okay. Okay. Push into the mounts of the fingers. Claw your fingers. Tuck your. Bend your knees. And if it's like disturbing you, Ayuri, if you could clip it when it's disturbing you, let me uh, clip it and show me, so I can maybe do something about it. Thank you. Push into the mounts of the fingers. Claw your fingers, and then from there, jump. Just jump a little bit and push into the mounts of the fingers. This is the important part. You want to push here into the index finger mount, really down into the ground, because this pushes you down to the ground again. So bring your hands forward, push into the index finger mounts, get long from your hands to your hips and jump and see if this pushes you down again. And don't worry, you can just be here and jump little jumps. It's completely fine. Or you can also jump a little bit more. But that comes with time. It's completely fine to jump really small. Good. Then release. Bring your knees to the sides. Big toes together. And we're coming into child's pose slowly. Leaning forward. Make sure that you that you're don't have any kind of like waist restriction going on, kind of like a belt. Loosen that belt and lean forward. Bring your arms away from your ears. Well. Slowly come up again. Done. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Bring your hands forward. Push into the mounts of the fingers. Clawing the fingers. We're doing the same again. You know how to do. 
how to do it. Bend your knees, get long from your hands to your hips. So one length and from there jump. See how it feels right now the second time as you're doing that and try to land soft. Again, we're pushing into the mounts of the fingers and you can just jump really small. It's completely fine. Good. Look between your wrists, start to walk up, bend your knees with a straight back. Bring your hands up, slight back bend, engage your belly and bring your hands in front of your heart together. Have your eyes closed, listening in how your body feels. Close your arms, opening your eyes again. Shake your wrists, your elbows. Whew. Good. Our last exercises here. And then we're going to stretch a little bit, doing Shavasana after. So about 30 minutes. Good. Now, we want to find a wall here. So look around you where you have a wall or maybe a closet. Something that works for you. Door. Bring the hands to the door or to the wall, wherever you are. You start to step to the back, creating a 90 degree angle here. Add your hips, 90 degree angle. As good as you can. Good job, everybody. Push into the mounts of the fingers a lot, clawing your fingers. Same thing as we that we did in downward facing dog. From here, get long from your hips to the hands. Your head, you can bring your head a little bit up so that with your gaze, with your eyes, you can look in between your wrists. Between your wrists. Good. So barely between your wrists. From there, engage your belly, engage your chest a little bit. Feel how your legs working. Just feel how your body is feeling here. And then slowly get out of it again. This is variation one of our handstand practice. We're now going into variation two and even variation three today. I feel like we can challenge ourselves a little bit more today. Again, you decide how far you can go. Variation, if variation one is good for you, variation one is great. For example, maybe for change, variation one is great for, for the low move, right? You decide how far you go. You don't need to come with us the whole way. You're working on your own, you know? Respect your body. Respect where you can go today. And then one day you feel like, oh yeah, you know, I've done uh, variation one like three times, four times. I want to try out variation two right now. Then just go ahead, you know, try it out. So let's go. Variation two. Please watch first before we do We are sitting down on the wall. If you want to do variation one again, just do variation one again already. We're measuring the distance from the wall with one leg. Where the ankle lands, we put our hands. Shoulder width apart with the hands again, pushing into the mounts of the fingers. If you can do it on, not on the mat, it's even better if you have the mat not here. I have the mat here right now. It's even better because, um, you know, when you're, you're more stable on the direct ground than on the mat. Good. From here, we come up, we step up with your legs. And we create a 90 degree angle again, pushing into the mounts of the fingers. And we're just upside down, doing the same thing as before. Exactly the same thing, engaging your belly and your chest, your gaze. Looks between your wrists. Keep your arms strong. Good. Pushing into the mounts of the fingers. This is a variation too. If you like to do that right now, please do that. Measure the distance with the leg. Then bring your hands shoulder width apart on the mat. Then third thing, step up with your legs and then do the same things as in variation one. Check your belly, your chest, push out of your arms, out of your shoulders, feel how the mounts of the fingers are connected to the floor and breathe deep. 
Try to relax. Good job. And then slowly come out wherever you are. If you did variation one, amazing. In variation one, you can also feel a lot, you know, and it really prepares you for handstand. Good. Now from here, we go a little bit further, shall we? We're going now to variation three. So if you like to join into variation three, we're just doing wall ups here. So come into a plank position. Otherwise, you can also decide for yourself right now that you like to do variation two or variation one, or maybe you just like to watch first here. So wall ups are f working like this. We're coming into a plank position. We're stepping up on the wall. And we start to walk with one hand, push into the mounts of the fingers again, with your other hand, walking closer, closer to the wall. Need to watch up out of my legs until we're really close to the wall and we push into the mounts of the fingers. So we don't fall over, especially in the index finger mount. And then you could go like two or three times up and down. We're not doing this right now. But like this, and then we're walking forward again. Oop. Again, try to do that controlled. Come in controlled down to the floor and release down. This is variation three. So if you like to do that, feel free to do that right now. Otherwise, do variation one or variation two or variation three. Decide for your own. Decide on your own. What do you like to do? I like to do variation one again. You know, there's also a lot you can listen to, especially I listen a lot to my legs here. What are my legs doing right now, for example? You can check in with your mounts of the fingers, if the index finger mounts are connected to the wall. Looking between your wrists, check in what your shoulders are doing, your belly, your chest is doing. And then come out of it again. Great job, everybody. Let's come to the front of the mat. Everybody, let's come out wherever you are. Take your time coming out. No need to hurry. And come to the front of the mat. Bend your knees. Ah, injure the hips. And Woo. Rock back and forth here. Be doing good. And bring your feet close to your bum, elbows next to your body, push into your elbows, fingers are pointing up, and then lift your hips up, lift your belly up, your chest, move with your shoulders under your chest, uh, under your back, sorry, interlace your fingers behind your back, and keep your knees over your heels. Keep your knees over your heels. Don't let your knees fall apart by your side, but keep them together over your knees. If your eyes, you can look over your head, breathing in deep into your belly, into your chest. And then breathing out, release your back slowly down to the floor, vertebra by vertebra, slowly coming down. Good job. From here, extend your legs, bring your arms over your head, and we stretch the right side, right leg and right arm, stretch, and then left leg and left arm, stretch, right, and left, and that's the feel, right side, right arm, right leg, and then left leg, left arm, and that's the feel, good job. And then shake your wrists out a little. Move your hips a little bit left and right. How does that feel? Really try to listen into your body today. Bring your legs up. Grab between your legs through. Onto your big toes. With the index finger and the middle finger. Or with your whole hands on the side of your feet. And stretch. 
one leg up, stretch the other leg up, maybe fall to the left, maybe fall to the right, being a happy baby here. Yeah, how does that feel? And rock a little bit back and forth, extend one leg, the other leg. Woo! Great job, everybody. Being a happy baby, just exploring where you like to move here. Then release, extend your legs, feet are facing away from each other. If you'd like to do anything else before coming into Shavasana, do that. Bring your arms by your sides, palms are pointing up, feet are facing away from each other. You can also extend your legs a little bit further away from each other. Just make it comfortable for yourself. Tuck your chin in a little bit, close your eyes and just be. Just be. Shavasana is there too. Feel that the physical movement practice is now over, that your body can calm down. get you out of this position in about a minute. Enjoy. Deepening your breath. Start to move your fingers. Start to move your toes. Whenever you feel like you're ready, come back to your body and draw your knees in towards your belly. From there, shift yourself to either the left or the right side, coming to lie down on your side body. Softening the skin of the face, releasing all the tension in your jaw, in your tongue, in your neck, in your shoulders, oh the shoulders, in the arms, in the elbows, in the wrists, in the fingers, in your chest, in your belly, in your hips, in your whole spine, in your whole back. Release all the tension in the legs, in the knees, in the ankles, in the heels, in the toes. And take a deep breath in, nurturing yourself. Deep into your belly, into your chest, breathing in. Nurturing yourself with the air that is coming in. And then breathing out, feeling how the gravity of the earth is carrying you. A 
with your next breath in lift yourself up by your side and come into a final sitting position there's no need to hurry as soon as you're sitting bring your hands in front of your heart together Honoring your yoga practice, bow your head in front of your heart, wishing you a wonderful day, a wonderful night, wherever you are. We're not finished here, but we are now going for mantra singing, then breathing practice and then meditation. So you're very welcome to join in there. Namaste. Release your arms. Opening your eyes, welcome back. Great job for taking care of yourself today. By the way, Ayo, if you're still here, tell, tell us a little bit more about your swimming. You know, did you did you do that profession? professionally or did you just do it for fun and you know I get it you know it feels good one way like swimming movements you know good so dear friends uh, this yoga lesson here it's not just about the physical practice but we're also doing mantra singing we're doing breathing practice and then we're doing even meditation so if you like to join in to that uh, journey, you're very invited to have your mind blown in one way, right? So today we're going uh, one more time with the Loka Samasta Sukhinu Bhavantu. Um, you're seeing it to your right right now on the screen. Uh, let the entire world be happy. That's, that's the meaning of the mantra. And if you like to join into that, it's very, very easy. Just come into a great sit, either up in a chair or down on the floor. If you, if you like to join your sitting position at any point in time, please do so. And yeah, let's go. Let's start with it, shall we? Let's start. Take a deep breath in. And we're just... You know, this one is easy. You can just join in with me as soon as it's kind of like a little bit clear. I don't need to uh, kind of like really dissect the whole mantra and everything and put it together for you. But really, really, you can just join in and sing together with me. Again, if you just like to listen, just listen. If you like to whisper, whisper. If you like to sing along, sing along. You know, listen to yourself what feels good to you today. Okay, let's go. Loka Samasta Sukhinu Bhavantu 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 Loka Samasta Sukhinu 
Bhavantu Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu Loka Samasta Sukhino Mavantu Loka Samasta Sukhino Mavantu Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu Last time Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu Slowly come out of it. Feel how it feels. Feel how your body feels. I wanted to say I have had a lot of tension in my shoulders and that I've not managed to release completely. I've realized that my body asked me for movements like the ones I practiced in swimming. It's not like it's not la that I like doing them. It was not professional, but if at a college level, I suppose I swam for several years. Yeah. And while I was proposing the subject to ask you for some advice, maybe it's necessary for me to go back to swimming or what movements would be good to move, move tension of that type tension. Yeah, like shoulders, right? Shoulders, our beautiful shoulders. <laughs> what beautiful mantras these are different. I like these. Awesome. Good that you like that, Ayumi. By the way, you know, it's personal opinion if you like something or not, you know. Uh, some, some mantras are longer, some mantras are shorter. But, um, you know, I think it's important that it kind of like also resonates with you and like the meaning of it, you know. Uh, like the meaning of, um, I also always forget it, let the, I'm, and let the entire world be happy, right? Kind of like have it differently in inside of myself I think like peace peace love happiness you know think about these terms when I sing that mantra but also let the entire world be happy right maybe that resonates with you more than the other mantras you know that are maybe a little bit more individual the other mantras at least you know this mantra is rather like also individual because you know you're part of the world but still you're also sending out, you know, you're sending out, yeah, you know, we wish that the entire world be happy, you know. Yeah, shoulders, let me think. It's 
So first and foremost, all these movements, um, we're not doing the movements right now, IOE. But again, um, for example, yesterday we did them, I guess yesterday's stream. All the movements, like you also said, like with your jaw, right? All, all the kind of movements that target your neck area, your shoulders, especially also like the shoulder rotation, like, right? The forward, up, backward, down here, this movement. But then also like pulling your shoulders up, right? Letting, getting to know your shoulders better. What kind of muscles are activated here? And then releasing them down again, trying to release your shoulders a little bit more than before because you, you get to know your muscles, you know? You can try to release these muscles a little bit more when you pick your shoulders up. Realizing which muscles you're engaging and then trying to release your shoulders down again slowly, you know, and and repetition and repetition it will kind of like create awareness inside of your body as we're listening to these muscles that we're engaging and releasing, right? We're learning with our body. And then of course like all the neck movements that we're usually doing, like to the right, front, left, this movement here. And still staying here again with your breath, deep in, in your belly into your chest and release again, change your round, right, this movement. Feeling the stretch from your left shoulder to your left ear. Try to release your shoulders a lot and then release again. Ah. And the movements that we also did for our shawl, right? Try to also do them, even if if it's think if you think like, oh yeah, no, you know that's not really connected to our neck and our shoulders. But I think you know it very much is. So as soon as you kind of like start to release the tension from the neck and and the jaw, very much could flow also over to the shoulders a little bit and vice versa. Like when you can release your shoulders a little bit more, it also goes up. I think it's like that. <laughs> if you try to, if you can manage to release some tension somewhere, it kind of like goes over to other areas. So at least that's my opinion about it. So of course, if you're struggling with your shoulders, it's good if you work on the shoulders a little bit, but then also in the surrounding areas, at least that's my opinion. But IOE, if you're coming in tomorrow, in tomorrow's lesson, uh, I try to cover that uh, more deep. If you wish to join in tomorrow, and uh, we're just going to all the movements there. And maybe I even find some more movements that I like to share with you. Uh, I will think about it. I'll think about it. Good. Thank you for the question, IOE, by the way. Everybody who has been, who's still in here right now, uh, we're going further to some breathing practice. Breathing practice is very beautiful. It's just like so, so deep and so, so efficient and you can learn so much from it. And the breathing practice that I'm teaching here is very much calming. There are different practices, breathing practices. Some that are rather feel like um, uh, strengthening or not really strengthening, but uh, like engaging. And the ones that we are doing here are rather calming. So if you're an anxious person or, or if you're dealing with anxiety a lot, then these breathing practice can help you out a big, big, big deal. So today we're doing Nadi Shodhana, which is alternate nostril breathing. So what I want you to do is first of all, clean your nose if you have a stuck nose because we want to be able to breathe in through both nostril, from through the left and the right nostril. Good. Let me quickly put the mantra here away, good. And what we're doing is we're bringing your right hand up, the index, fi index finger and the middle finger together. If you know your way of doing Nadi Shodhana, please go ahead and just go ahead. Then index finger and middle finger between your eyebrows or a little bit above on the third eye. From there we grab around with your thumb and your ring finger on the bony part of your nose. Good. From there draw up with your fingers on the bony part, draw the nose flesh up. 
Breathing in deep into your nose. Breathing out through your nose. Just keep going on for this a, a little bit like that because I need to explain one more thing. At any point, this breathing practice would become suffocating. The following breathing practice would become suffocating. And please feel free to come back to your natural breathing and just come out of this breathing practice. Good. Before we start, let's take one more deep breath in together. Right now. Through the nose in. Breathe out through the nose. And then we're closing the left nostril. Breathing in deep through the right nostril. Closing the right nostril, opening the left. Breathing out through the left. Breathing in again through the left. Closing the left nostril, opening the right nostril, breathing out through the right. Breathing in again through the right. Closing the right, opening the left, breathing out through the left. Breathing in again through the left. Closing the left, opening the right, breathing out through the right. Breathing in again through the right. Closing the right, opening the left, breathing out through the left. Breathing in again through the left. Closing the left, opening the right, breathing out through the right. Breathing in again through the right. Closing the right, opening the left and continue on your own. Your rhythm. Going for another three minutes. Enjoy.
next time you breathe in through your left nostril. Opening both nostrils and breathing out through both nostrils. And then breathing in again through both nostrils. Check in with how your body feels right now. Right now, if you like to join in, we're going towards meditation for 25 minutes and then 5 minutes of Shavasana. If you like to do just 5 minutes of meditation, please feel free to do that. If you like to do 10 minutes or anything other than 25 minutes, feel free to do that. And I don't suggest you go longer. Good. So. 25 minutes of meditation and 5 minutes of Shavasana. If you're heading out before we're finished, I wish you a wonderful day. If you're staying until the end, uh, I will tell you my goodbye then again. But um, I'm going to guide you into the meditation right now. No? So if you like to join, again, don't forget to follow the stream, of course. Don't forget to join the Discord, um, check in with me again, we're doing here yoga every day, so feel free to also check out the podcast, you know, there's a lot of things you can check out here. Uh, we're doing a lot of things here. We're also uh, creating the man circle currently, so if you like to join a man circle, you're very welcome to do so. Especially also IOE, if you like to join into the man circle, you're very welcome to join in there. Good. If you haven't joined the Discord, make sure to do that. And with that said, you can change your sitting position whenever you like in, in this meditation. And we're starting right off. 30 minutes. Come to a wonderful sit again. Feel your body, feel how you're sitting, See, feel where your arms are, release them wherever they feel comfortable, sit up tall from your hips to your head, feel how your feet are rooted to the floor, and from there start to observe your breath, observe your inhale, Observe your exhale without <laughs> without changing your breath, observing your breath, observe your inhale, observe your exhale. That's all what we're doing, we're observing your inhale, observing your exhale, whenever you're losing the connection to your breath, the focus on your breath. Observe your thoughts. Check in with your thoughts. And let the thoughts go softly. Without pushing them away, let your thoughts go softly. Away like wind. And coming back to your breath preferring your breath, serving your breath again. It's all part of the practice. So maybe one day you feel like you're only in your thoughts all the time. And one day you might feel like you're very, very focused on your breath all the time. It's all part of the practice. So don't judge yourself. Don't judge yourself if you're doing good or bad. Just see what's going on today. Joy. Hear each other in about 30 minutes. At any point in time, if you like to change your sitting position, please do so.
slowly connect one more time to your breath so in your inhale and your exhale and lie down on your back extend your legs bring your arms by your sides Feet are facing away from each other. Bring your arms by your sides. Palms are pointing up. And just be for five minutes. Releasing your breath. Not connecting with your breath anymore. But just be. Just be. Slowly start to move your fingers, start to move your toes, start to move your arms, your legs, your hips. Extend your arms over your head, stretch your body left and right, long through the right side and long through your left side. And slowly coming back to your body. If you like to yawn, yawn. <sighs> Shift yourself to either the left or the right side. And slowly in your time. Come up. To sit. Welcome. I think, uh, thank you so much for the follow Moonlitten. How are you doing? Oh, uh, it's quite a lot. <laughs> Hi, I'm Man TV. Welcome. Om Om Chi is he dead? <laughs> so he's not dead, right? He's just chilling. Yeah. 
Okay, just wanted to make sure. Is meditation usually done without music? Um, yeah, that's a good question, dear friend. Um, so mostly... Mostly it's done without music. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes it's done with music, but <clears throat> mostly it's done without music. Uh, there are times um, where there are a lot of noises going outside, uh, going on outside, going in your in your environment that you're meditating on, uh, or going on a lot of noises. You know, you know what I'm saying. And then having having something that kind of like just repeats itself again and again, like uh, tampura. That's an instrument from India. I kind of like that it repeats itself again and again. Uh, you can Google that, Tampura. And uh, would make sense, for example. Other than that, I'm not really recommending it because, you know, we're, we're kind of like in this entertainment industries, kind of like life world, if you want to say so, where everywhere is distraction. And we really or I really want to do this with this yoga lesson, really focus on like, hey, getting a little bit away from that, on getting away, coming out of this, always is something going on, right? And, and slowing down, you know, in a way, slowing down, coming into your own body and listening to your own body again. That's what we want to do here. So that's also why we don't have any music here that entertains you in another way, right? Uh, so that you can listen more to your body. I'll drop a follow and join in another time. Looks like an interesting stream to partake in. Awesome. Thank you so much for that. Uh, with that said, dear friends, um, that's about it. If you don't have any more qu questions, let me know. Uh, if you have any more questions, if you want to write, raid anybody in particular, let me know as well. And um, thank you so much for joining in. Again, a big shout out to the wonderful Yoga with Chen, um, who just uh, gave me a wonderful big raid here. Thank you so much for that. Um, with that said, we're coming here to an end today, but we are here tomorrow again. So we are here every day, so feel free to join in again and again, of course, whenever you feel like it, right? Whenever you need it, right? And of course, also join the Discord, make sure to join the Discord. Currently, um, the next podcast is coming up very, very soon already. Need to work on that a little bit. <laughs> but um, next Friday, I think, already. It's the next podcast about family constellations. I'm very, very excited about it. So if you'd like to join in there, feel free to. My name is Marcel. I'm teaching here daily together with Sean. Sean is here for entertainment, energy and motivation. And together we are taking care of ourselves here daily. And we're taking also care of you. Uh, taking care of yourself. <laughs> but you need to come along and, uh, yeah, have uh, have questions, have requests, have everything like that. I'm so, so uh, willing and honoring them. Uh, so thank you so much for them. And I hope to see you very, very soon. Good. Let's see who we can rate today, who we can send out some love today. Um, wow, there are a lot of people online. Uh, Swissar is currently online, so let's let's head over to Swissar today and let's tell him hi from my side. He's already streaming again, <laughs> so he's streaming a lot lately. So let's give him some love, dear friends. And yeah, if you like to join in tomorrow again, that will make my day. Hope to see you very, very soon. And again, we are, of course, raiding with love. So uh, make sure to copy that little message in there. 
And again, I want to say thank you for everybody who has been in here. Jamie uh, Moonlitten who dropped in and dropped so many cool comments. And IOE who has been in here, Iman TV, and everybody who has been in here who had a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun today. So dear friends, take care. Hope to see you very soon. Bye-bye. See you soon.